Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited to be doing this look. I did this look, just threw it together because my Warriors just won the championship. Okay, so I had to do something that was Warriors inspired and I wanted to do something that my girls who are going to the parade could wear. So I put this look together um, using the blues, whites, and golds. So I want somebody to wear this to the parade and represent for me since I can't go, okay? So um, I hope you guys like this look that I came up with. If you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then please stay tuned and please make sure to subscribe. All right, beauties, let's get started using our white base. This is a white base from NYX. Anytime you're gonna use light colors, like yellow, you want to use a white base if you have it. If not, concealer will work, but white base will make it pop even more. This is the Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics, super duper affordable. I'm using the light yellow, then the middle yellow, and then the dark yellow. There's two, three different tones there. So that's what I'm doing here, just blending that right above my crease and creating a little bit of gradients. Then going into my artist palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going into this mustard yellow color and that's going right into my crease. And I'm blending that with the other yellows that I already added to the um, crease and I'm just blending that out. And I want to pack that on, I need that yellow to pop. So I'm going back and forth until it is to my liking. Then I just blended out any harsh lines. Now I'm going right back in with that white base from NYX and I'm cutting my crease and I'm going a little bit above my crease when I cut it because I have hooded lids which means that my skin folds over my lid and if you go a little above it you can create a new crease so that you can see what you actually put on your lid when your eyes are open. Now that I have gotten that carved out, I am going to go into this blue purple color. It's like a bluish purple color in the artist palette. Um, and I'm going to apply that to the front of my lid. And I'm going to only go to the middle of the eye with this. And I'm just packing that on right now. Now I'm going into this pigment that I got from Amazon. It was with this kit that I got. They had like 40 glitters for like $11. And it also came with these pigments. So I thought this pigment would be perfect for this look. You don't really see the reflex that well. But it does reflect like glitter. Similar to glitter but not exactly. It's like a pigment. And so I just applied that to the front of the eye. And then I have this white pigment that reflects as well. Kind of glittery. And that's going to go on the tail end. Then I'm going to blend in the middle so that the two colors blend together to create the blue and white for the Warriors colors. Then we're going to go back into the yellow with um, a flat edge brush and we're going to go right back over um, the line above the crease to deepen that and then go back into the BH Cosmetics yellows that were lighter just to create the gradients again. Then I'm using this white to clean up my eye and all the excess product that was there. And then I'm going to use the yellow to blend out that line that was there where the, the white kind of went up. Then I'm going into my NYX glitter. This is um, a, just a gold, I mean, sorry, this is not a glitter. This is my gold liner. And um, then after I apply this gold liner, I'm going to go back in with a NYX gold glitter liner so that the liner pops more. I just wanted to put down a gold liner first. Then I'm going to put down the gold glitter liner so that you can see it pop more with all the colors in this look. And that's just going to go right about, uh, right around my crease. Then I'm going to bring it down to um, the corner of my eye because I want to just carve out this whole area of the eye. Then I'm going in with my NYX nylon liner and I'm only applying it to the um, to my um, the bottom of my eye. I just, I mean, not the bottom of my eye. Applying it to um, my lash line, but I didn't want to wing it out. So I just wanted it there for when I apply my lashes. Then go back in with the gold liner, not the glitter one, just the gold liner. So that that goes all the way around when you look at the eye. So when I put my lashes on, you won't really see that black line. You'll only see the gold line. And I'm just going to attach that to where I attached um, the gold liner on the other side. Now I'm going to apply my lashes. These lashes are from AliExpress. They are fairly inexpensive, probably about $4. And they're like wing lashes. And I think they are really, really cute. 
Then I went into my Juvia's Place palette and just applied white in the inner corner. And now I'm using my Beyond uh, Translucent Powder because I put on some primer. That footage got lost. But I put on primer and now I just set the primer with that um, Touch Behold Translucent Powder. I always set my primers because I have oily skin. Then I use my Skin Perfecting Concealer from Unique in the color Satin in the areas I want to highlight. And I use the... LA Girl Pro Conceal Beautiful Bronze for my um, contoured areas. And as you can see, I use a very little bit of the um, Unique um, Skin Perfecting Concealer, and that's because it's very thick, and you'll see how easily it spreads, even though it looks like it's very little bit. Um, it's very concentrated, so it doesn't take much for it to um, blend out across the face. And right now I am doing reverse contouring. It's my first time doing reverse contouring on my channel. Um, I tried it on my Snapchat. Follow me under Yolanda Farms. And um, I tried it on my Snapchat a few days ago because I wanted to see how it looked before I did a video. But embalmed in front of all you guys. But it actually came out really, really cute. So as you can see, first you look like a contoured ghost. And then you apply your foundation on top of it, which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Warm Caramel. Using a Real Techniques brush, I'm blending that out with a light hand, just blending very softly across the face so that I don't blend the contour too much. It's just literally just blending the foundation right on top of that contour so you can still see it under the foundation. So I'm really heavy handed. I have to really try and not press because I tend to press the brush into my skin when it really just needs to glide across. And especially for the reverse contouring, since you want to see the contours and highlight still, you don't want to press into what you already put. So just lightly, lightly blend around. And then I'm going to set my foundation using the translucent powder from Unique called Touch Beyond once again. I like to use this translucent powder for setting my primer and setting my foundation. And then once I have set my face with this translucent powder, I still feel like my face looks a little light because of the translucent powders. They always kind of leave me light. So I'll go in with my bronzer. This is my bronzer from CoverGirl called Deep Bronze, I believe, from the Queen Girl Collection. Once I bronze up my face, I'm going to go back in and bake with the Sacha Buttercup powder. And this has a yellow tint. And I like to use the yellow tint powder because it brings color back into my face since I have yellow undertones. And um, so it is perfect for baking. So I'm just going to put that on. I do have lines under my eye. So I don't want those to be defined. So I don't leave this powder on very long. I put it on. Maybe I'll touch up a little area of my face. And then I brush it right off. And I was just shoving it off my clothes. Because it is a little messy. But look at this highlight and contour. When I tell you that reverse contouring is bomb. It is so bomb. I definitely recommend you trying it. Um, I think it might even be easier for beginners um, because of the fact that you um, blend it out before you put the foundation and the foundation goes right on top. I feel like it may be even easier to blend when you do it that way. It doesn't have to be so perfect. And then I'm just brushing away any excess powder. Going into my Saharan 2 Volume, pal volume Blush Palette from Juvia's Place. And I just applied this tan and um, sheer um, blush. And then I went into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Palette using the color 143. I um, applied my highlight with a fan brush from e.l.f. Then I just want to use a sponge to blend out any harsh lines. So the line where I actually started the highlight, I like to blend around there. The top and the bottom of that area. And then once that is blended out, I will highlight my cupid's bow. Well, I did that already actually. Now I'm using this new liner from Unique called Posh. It's like a nude liner. And then I'm going to go in with this beautiful nudie lipstick. I think it's called Stellar from Unique. They're brand new. There's um, a sale for $73 for three and a lip pencil right now. And um, these are only available in that set. And they are so cute. Um, also, I'm going to use a lip topper from Jouer. I'm using the rose gold. And then I wanted to go in with my tan, li tan lines. No, sorry, my skinny dip. Um lip topper and then I went in with, with my papaya to add a little bit of pink into the not neat pink but a little bit of nude back into it just to nude it up a little bit then back into the rose gold and then back into 
um, the skinny dip. I really love these lip toppers. They just really just make your lips pop. And so I'm just blending, blending. And you guys, this is the final look. Oh wait, no it's not. I added a little bit um, to the inner corner to make it pop more. The white color in the Nicole Guerrero palette. And now this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so excited for the Warriors. You guys have fun at the parade. Any Warriors fans, woo woo. <laughs> this is for you guys. Please make sure to subscribe. And I hope you guys just continue to watch my channel. Love you. Have a good day.